One of these days, I'm going to find the perfect placement. Hi, Jamie. To make you see my head the whole time. Okay. This is 45 minutes of resistance with breath with only a loop band. Walk down the book. So today we are doing a Tabata style workout. So 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. With eight rounds. Come on up and break it. So we can spin it eight instead of seven. Because you get less rest. But when we're doing strength, we don't need that whole thing. Keep those feet planted. Open up at the hip. One side only. I can hear that hip on track every time. <laughs> so it's sad. <laughs> All right, plant those feet, leave with the elbows, and keep that upper body warm. Hold up, rotate up and down. Push up, pull it up. And go back to your squat. I'm going to show you our first round. So we are starting with fire walk. So bend above your thighs. Butt back. Oh. Oh, you can do this. And big step side to side. Then you're going to take one leg back into a lunge. And come up. Leg lift. Lunge. Woo. Leg lift. My balance will get better. <laughs> Are you ready? Fire walk in three, two, let's go. Side to side, y'all. Woo! Stretch that band out. Oh my goodness. This band says it's only a medium, but yeah, I'm struggling. Woo! Halfway. Three, two, and rest. So take one leg back. So go back into a lunge. When you come up, squeeze that same leg back for a leg lift. Let's go. So reverse lunge, tap, leg lift. If you don't need the tap, don't do it. Just squeeze that booty. Wait, this is not fun, you. And rest. Back to fire walk. Is your butt awake yet? <laughs> Butt back, side to side, let's go. Woo! Oh my goodness. I was not expecting these new bands to go hard like this. <laughs> 10 seconds. And rest, kick to the other leg. And let's go. One back. Come up. Squeeze that leg back. Woo! You should be able to tell really quickly if your band is strong enough. Because this hurts already. <laughs> Almost there. And rest. We're halfway through, y'all. Back to fire walk. Come back, let's go. Come on, big step. Who's breaking the band? Not me, but I'm going to try. 
making sure that your hips are back. Double up your steps if you want. Completely your choice. And rest. Back to that first leg from lunge and lift. Let's go. Lunge back. Come up. Squeeze back. If you need to, you can put fingertips on a wall or a couch. And rest. One more time for each. And let's go, side to side. Whew. Come on, y'all, get low. Take those big steps. This is just your firewall. Five seconds to go. And rest. Other side. Reverse one, leg lift. Finish off this round. Go, go. Take it back. Squeeze it back. Really squeeze that cheek. Woo! Woo! Last five. And take that band off. Come on down. Okay. Inner thigh round. Side line. Your bottom leg. Lift it straight up. Second move. Circle that bottom leg out. Are you ready? Three, two, let's go. Lift that top leg. Bottom leg. Never set that foot down. Just lift them lower as high as you can. You do not feel off the floor. Turn that leg. Woo! Now we circle. And let's go. Push it around. Again, your goal is to not set that heel down. Let's go. Let's make sure that that ankle stays pointed towards the ceiling. Halfway. Is that inner thigh burning yet? Woo. And breath. One more time for each of those on your side. Three, two, lift and lower. This feels like it's the time to tell you that I lied when I said our workout was only 20 seconds. It's actually 22 seconds. Because I can fit it in. Woo! Halfway. Those two seconds might make a difference. Woo! But right now. And rest. Woo. One more time for the circles on this side. And let's go. Up and around. I'm, in, I'm having so many issues today, y'all. My head is a lot But we're halfway. One of those days where I was like, I have that mostly on, my money's short, my contact was going, which side? But, still works it out. Lifting that ankle straight up to the ceiling. Let's go. So, making sure that your ankle is towards the ceiling. So, you're going to need to punch your toe out. High and low. Get as high up as you can. All the way down without touching the floor. Five. And breath. Isn't it nice, like right here, when it doesn't burn yet? Circle. And three, two. Let's 
down. Every time. Woo! I like your back. And breath. One more time. Are you ready to finish the blend? And let's go. Let's go over. Woo! My eyes are burning. Again, last 
just say goodbye. Press it down. Keeping that shoulder still. Get rid of that band. 
and we are done with it. All right, next round. You are going to lay down like a star. So feet are wide, arms are above your head. Then we're going to crunch up, bring elbows to knees, and down, still keeping hands and feet wide. Then our second move. We're also gonna bring elbows to knees, but we're sitting up in just a seated position, like we're doing a tuck jump, but on the floor. All right, three, two, start position. Elbows to knees. Keep it alive. Halfway. And rest. Sit up. Into that seat that position, so you can have a slight lean back. And then still elbows to knees, tap the heels down. Modification for that, if it sets your hip flexors on fire, like it does me, is just the top half. Elbows to knees, still working those abs. Okay, and relax. Star position. I call this a star frog. Arms up. Okay. Elbow to knees. And then back down. Keep scrolling as you lay back down. Whew. And come on up. Decent position. So you're slightly reclined. Elbow to knees. You can also alternate sides or just do that top half. So imagine yourself when you do that crunch as if you're in the air, like you're bringing your knees to your elbows in a tuck jump. Rest. We're halfway through. Star frog. Arms up. Elbows and knees. Modification here is not to bring them up all the way. Exhale it as you lift and rest. Sit back up. Back to our four tuck jumps. Lean back and tuck. But I don't know how I'm here. Remember all the options you have. You can do elbow to knee, bringing both parts of your body together. You can do alternating sides. You can do just top down. Five. And rest. One more time for each. Last round. Plank position. 
knees or toes, arms tap out. So, we're just tapping one hand out of the time. Second move, back in that plank position, elbows or um, wrists this time. I'll show you my wrists so you can actually see. And you're gonna tap your hip down, center. Tap your hip down, other side, center. And then we're done. All right, y'all, come on down. Plank, and tap out. Three, two, let's go. Tap, center, tap, center. So your goal when you move your hand is to manage that rotation. Keep your body still. Halfway. And rest. Now our hip drop. Three, two. Tap it down. Center. Tap it down. Center. If you're on your elbows, you can actually be able to tap the hip. If you're on your wrist, just drop. Make a set rotation in the middle. And rest. Three more times for each. Flip or done. And let's go. Tap. Center. Hug. 
he did a great job. Stretch those heels straight out in front of you and inhale up. And exhale forward, reach past those toes if you can, stretch out those hammies. And bring those knees together, heels together, knees out. And lean a little bit deeper if you can. It's going to be great.